Welcome back to Barrel Brothers, where things have changed quite a bit. Shannon's just left, as you can see, we've got the uh, sunny up and about and fuel tanks in. There's a couple of things we still have to do here. We need to put some uh, capture nuts on the inside of that um, so we can bolt it up. It's just sitting on this at the moment, but I had to cut this corner out. As you can see, I uh, injured myself doing it. The uh, grinder didn't have a guard on it. <laughs> okay, so I had to cut that corner out to get these pipes through. Now we've got to do, we're figuring that we're going to bring the fuel from uh, up the top, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, out along here to a bulkhead probably a bulkhead here along here somewhere and then bring it out elbows in elbows back out again and then we'll follow this now we're going to use reuse one of these as a return line like the original fuel line we'll reuse as a as a return line which is this one here actually we've got to come up with a bracket for this basically we've got to <sighs> I still can't sort out my handbrake because that all goes through this section here of the of the tank and then I can't put my tail shaft in yet because we still need to pull this in you know I've got to put the nuts in under there and we've got to sort out the fuel lines and whatnot um, this hangs down fairly low but it's fairly close to the rear wheels as you can see where it sticks out there we should be okay but I do run the car fairly low. In the future, if we have a problem with it, it's going to be a cut and move everything up, uh, which we can probably bring it up level with the rails, but it's actually not that far down from these hangers here. Um, the center of the car is around here. This is where it used to squash the pipe, which is basically at the back of the cab. So uh, we're all looking pretty good here. Um, I've got to bend this bracket a little bit uh here so I, we can bring this this brake line down this is for the rear brakes have a look down from the top so as you can see we can get to our um our pressure and return lines and this the uh, i was fishing around down underneath and i found the plug for the fuel gauge and that's just sitting back here i can actually feel that so there it is right there and we've got so we've got to figure out uh, what I'm going to use, I'm not sure that I'm going to use this Mad Dat. Um, I may use a standard one, I don't know yet. Uh, this, we'll see, I'm not quite sure. But, you know, the beautiful thing is we can get to this. The idea is we're going to run the fuel lines out and around along the, underneath here, over to the other side, down um, elbows and then back. So it's basically going to go across down and there's no room over this side to put stuff but there's plenty of room over that side we could even relocate the battery under there if we wanted it i'll give you a quick look see there's plenty of room there in that area so we could stick the battery there if we wanted up this end what we've decided to do is that will come up here this is the breather for the tank there um and that'll come round to that goes into the back i've got that sorted to go back into the which is over here that goes into that and then our fuel line we're going pressure in here and we're going to use the original pressure in line as the return line reuse this as the original low pressure fuel line and run that back so basically you only need to go from here down to there so I may straighten this out and put an elbow over there and then down to this line down I don't know if you can see it it's a bit hard to see but that's our return line so the idea I like to use stuff that's already run and make a whole lot of new stuff we could if we can use stuff that's already there that's going to be pretty good and then our fuel line in it'll have to come up here probably maybe through behind here I've got to make a bracket up or, or through and under here these two here are making a bracket up for our wide band which um from the exhaust will will come up and just plug straight into there and then dave can do what whatever he wants with that so we can run our fuel line in and the elbow here so basically it goes straight back into straight into the end of that which i've drilled out and tapped um 
I need a fitting for that. And then we'll just screw, screw that straight on. We're not gonna use, need like heaps of pressure because it's a 1.2 litre. Even the, like the 1.5 is not going to use, you know, it's not a turbo motor or anything. But um, we'll get it going on this guy first. I miss driving this little, this little baby. So, uh, it's, you know, it's not gonna be real fast, but it's gonna sound tits. <laughs> anyway, so that's what, where I'm up to today. I've done under there. I don't know whether I'll go, but start working back in here or get back to uh, some, getting the wiring sorted and getting the dash sorted. I might do this scrap around in here for a little bit but uh welcome to today while i was under there shannon slid his phone under with a hoist <laughs> an ad for a hoist four grand for a hoist there's been complaints mostly from these guys about getting under the car and getting back out again now my problem is i've got a forklift running in and out of here so it would have to go in this doorway here i figure um maybe get rid of those shelves or these cupboards here these cupboards I don't, i'm not really using anymore anyway before i picked the camera up i was lying under there looking at ads for hoists so i think we're gonna have to do that getting old i really want one too did a big working bee here on saturday on the sunny truck all the dashes in um glove boxes in now um, air conditioning's back where it's supposed to be we've got the console and the clock in my new boot done by my mate Shannon good on you buddy thanks for that stitched up by him we're still gonna go tidy up this wiring a little bit and that's got to go in um, around the Haltex so I've got to sort of slightly reroute it still gonna go with the uh, surround so there's still a little bit to do but uh, she's looking pretty good I've spent a little bit of time on it because I've been concentrating on other things But that's pretty well done now, so um, we need to actually spend a bit of time on this guy. And we're making up some plug leads for it, um, which is the last thing we need to do before it goes over to Scotty and Dave over at Howtech uh, to get some wires. Everything's in there. Um, no, it's got no front spoiler. Hang on. No, it's got no front spoiler because it's been up on a flatbed went over to shannon's house so he could do the fuel lines on it because he's got a hoist trying to do it here was bloody impossible fuel tank is in um which means that the hang on it's just under here the mighty six inch rule you can undo screws with it it's a good paint scraper you can stir your coffee um and you can measure things with it as well surprisingly never go anywhere without it it's like a towel from uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy anyway thousand one uses this needs to be hooked up to the original sender plug which is just in as one of my jobs today as you can see this is all done in here there's our uh, charcoal canister so everything's hooked up to that and then that comes around to the front here from the charcoal canister that's that line there that now feeds into the back of our air box this um, all hooks in and comes up to our oil catch can which neatly fits into the old uh, charcoal canister that I had that I had to put on for Rego in the first place so that hook uh, that fits neatly into that bracket and then that goes up and into the back of the um, air filter plate as well as long along with the air temp sensor now let's get those out of the way here's the fuel line in here and that from the back of there we drilled and tapped this out of the back and that goes around and into our uh, pressure regulator and as you can see the CAS we put that in ages ago so that's ready to go um, that's ready to go our core packs are down there which i'll get to in a minute oil pressure and temp sensors down the bottom there and our uh, water temp sensor is in so basically it's all there except for the plug leads and that's what i'm doing today so i bought a kit for a v8 because i figured it gives me plenty of stuff to stuff up and as you can see i've started on them already i've put three on that one and the idea is to come to about here 
and then branch out onto the individual plugs. But yeah, I bought this one. It's got plenty of excess, and that's the plan, is to go in with the 45s down the bottom, so I've still got to do that one, and then 90 degrees onto the plugs itself. So I just need to do the fourth one. Uh, Shannon has kindly loaned me his pliers for doing this. There's a couple of little tricks to these things. Um, the these guys here you need to bend in those tops before you crimp them otherwise they go all wonky um i think i threw my wonky ones in the bin i did some try it so that was the whole plan like buy hundred thousand miles of this stuff i knew i wasn't going to use the straight ones as you can see there's no way in hell that that is going to go into there so the plan was to make these plug leads up using using the kit here um and clamp it all together there's a couple of little tricks which I'll show you, which I've learned fairly quickly um, by people telling me how to do it properly. So these, when these are put on, and I'll just show you with a straight one here, this center core gets folded back over and put in underneath that, and then that gets crimped. You can see that there, right, right up. So, it's, but that's never long enough, so you need to cut it off. So you've got to be careful with this cutter off rod because it takes a couple of goes to get it right. Uh, but the trick is with all this sort of stuff is put the boot on first and the trick to putting the boot on is silicon spray just like that in there and then some on the lead itself otherwise they're damn near impossible to get on but uh, once you've got the silicon spray in there look at that easy peasy now I just figure out how much extra I need. If I fold that back, I like to go the full length. So it needs another little clump off there, which I've figured out is on the pliers. If you go up, oops, level with the top of the plier there like that. Do your cut, turn it 90 degrees, do the cut again, and then it should come off fold that over or I'll go that way because it's just easier on with this guy then bend these ends in a little bit just to get everything sitting nicely and this is the fourth one I've done ever so well it's not I did about three of them and screwed them up um, because I didn't have these I was trying to do it with some other flies but they don't work get that end bent over a little bit like that as you can see there that's Pretty ready to go because when these go together those have got to stab into the into the rubber itself to hold everything tight well you see on this it's got the top there let's put it up something so you can actually bloody see it so it folds the tops over and squishes them in just like this Look at that. Now you just got to get the angle right to pull them back in. And that's ready to go onto the coil. So the idea now is what I'll do, I'll plug these all in because I want them to all go up, you know, they're all of 45s on the bottom, all in a row, one, two, three, four. All in and then they come up as four and then from there I want them to split out and go to the plugs with a 90 degree onto the plug itself. So I'll measure them all up start cutting some stuff and then the other thing you've got to get right is the way that the ends clocked because we've got angles on both ends if I've got that one like that then it'll go in a hot I want them all to sit really nicely so there's a bit of mucking around to get everything at the right angle if you know what I mean just done them in pen where I've done the number on them and the which way to clock them that's just the lead pushed into the cap at the moment so now we've got to put our ends on and uh, away we go. Basically that lead has to point at that mark that I've made on the back there. See my deliberate mistake here? Let's start that one again. Nearly blew it. <laughs> <laughs> on camera too. 
look at that. And that one should be ready to put on, see how she fits. There's the bits we didn't use. So there she is, plugged into the coil pack around and bingo. Only three more to do. I'm so happy I don't own a V12. So, one, two, three, four, we go up and curve around and then two, one, two, three, four. Look at that. So satisfying doing stuff like that. <laughs> I think just a, maybe a cable tie or something rather, or maybe one of those little um, holders in between. Should do just the trick. Just a little housekeeping here while I think of it. This um, is all back on, as you can see, it's all sorted out. We've redone the clamps and um, set up for the center there. I've actually, if you can see down there, wrapped the exhaust as well because I want to keep as much heat as possible away from this. Actually, just sort of it now. The original air filter set up on these had a little plastic, like a blower, uh, um, scoopy thing that came from here and went on to the. I wonder if I could use that just to pick up and like blow air on these guys to try and keep that cool down there. Anyway, I've redone these bolts here too so they look a little bit prettier. Just tidied a lot of stuff up um, this is just basically welding wire you know that that shrink stuff that you put on wiring and just sort of shrunk it onto that and bent it round so um does the trick <laughs> yeah so i think she's all looking pretty good really got the strut brace back on this is a race car as everybody knows two door god i can't wait to hear this start up and i was over at shed club we were talking about it the other day and martin of the MCM fame came up with the the best line New South Wales or Sydney based you'd know this one and the line was Dorts plus no fuss so now I've got to make a sticker up with that written on it but oh man I cannot wait to hear this start this thing start up the wideband is in too and that's all hooked up we run it right around here it had a nice lid so that's over here sitting behind the battery this guy is ready to go so we can run the wiring straight down under that battery tray oh, you can see dimly down the bottom there down to our core packs down the bottom everything is in place you name it, it everything's there i uh, went around to the local sparky and he's fixed up a few things for me with putting the dash in and got all that working so that's all in now uh, and the clock's working and everything when we plug the, the battery into it. So that's the GX5 dash and clock and console. It, just, it doesn't have the little steel surround because the tabs came off. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I'll figure something out. But yeah, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? So the only thing that doesn't work, funnily enough, is the fuel gauge. It's got 10 litres in, in the fuel tank, which, you know, with, with Shannon's help... Of course, the sender and everything's in there, which is supposed to work. It's calibrated to work with the original um, gauge, but it isn't. Uh, it, it, we've just put it in as normal, put 10 litres in there, and the fuel gauge reads full. So we've checked the fuel gauge. There's nothing wrong with that, so it's it's the sender. There's something up to ship with that. Anyway, so we'll keep plugging away with it, but today it's going to get a tub. Give it a nice tub so it's nice and clean goes up to Dave always like to if I'm um, taking a car anywhere for any work I'd like for it to be nice and clean so whoever's working on it can see that that the owner of the car if they don't know me looks after it uh, just a little thing that I do psychologicals I mean there's some people that really don't give a crap either way but I like things to be nice and clean for anybody that's got to work on it so that's our plan today is to go over it give it a tub i've got to give the shoe box a tub first push it out again which i do every morning and push it back in again i push it out into that car park there and then i push it back in again every morning every day keeps me fit there she is all spick and span ready for mr wires by dave such a good looking little digger isn't it can't wait till I can actually start it up and drive it. We're on our way over to, well, we're not on our way yet. We're just waiting for um, Zach from Tonka Tow to turn up so we can load up the sunny truck and it's going to see Dave from Howtech uh, to get wired up. Away she goes. 
yeah, I'll jump into the into the toaster and then we'll meet him there and see how we go. Oh, what do you think of the moustache? And uh, it started off as a full beard and I've slowly been cutting it down. We've got a bit of um, handbar action happening here. You notice that I'm slowly turning blonde? Yeah, the reason for that is I can't be bothered colouring it anymore. It takes too much time, like, you know, with the tweezers and colouring each each hair in with the texture. So I've given that away. I thought we're going au naturel. What a cool car. <laughs> so it's been a few days, but um, yeah, I'm on my way there now, and so is he. And uh, <laughs> we get to see the sunny running. This is really exciting. I've waited so long for this. Knock, knock, anyone home? The man, the legend. Ooh, look, it's got wires. Car that is now wired. <laughs> was it uh, like a massive job? Uh, no, no, it actually really wasn't. Um, in terms of, I engine, suppose they're a pretty simple in terms of engine. Thing, yeah. There's not a lot going on. Um, <laughs> and yeah, like what do I you said, mean? This is the, this yeah. is. But even no. like I said, like I'm still in my mind, I'm always wiring something for 400 kilowatts, <laughs> and. It just isn't. It just it isn't just gonna isn't. have no, 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 no near that. But that's okay. Um, it's over wide, and it's uh, you can now make 400 kilowatts. Is you've got the well, we can. Wiring oh, to sorry, it, pointing so that in the wrong way. That's all right. Yeah. Um, so, I think. Hang it's on good. a minute. What's that? Yeah. So, that's not my PDM. No. So I swapped out your PDM with the Nexus R3. Um, your Elite in your fancy bracket. It's still there. It's it's still in its in its home. Um, I did away with the PDM purely because we weren't going to do the whole car. Yeah. The R3 is perfect for the engine. Well, basically that's what a 1500 and a PDM in one, isn't it? Or uh, half a PDM. Ha half, yeah. We'll go with half a PDM yeah. and a 2500. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. So we do an eight-cylinder. So we've got some extra... Yeah, you've got heaps of extras. Heaps of extras. So... I swapped it out because we what this can do, stupid you can do your vitals and the engine. So that's what I really, really like about it. We're running the fuel pump directly from here. We're okay. running your air con and the air con fan directly from here. We're running the coil power and the injector power from here. Uh, it's doing a lot. We're, we're actually, How cool is this? We're even doing the starter motor directly from here. <laughs> um, we're taking control of all the fuses and the relays that would normally be in the fuse box that normally goes right next to the unit so we've oh done, right so done yes no all those fuse connections. Boxes. done away with all that stuff so it can retry all those things when you're out on the road if something trips it's all programmed to retry itself oh yeah that's so, so you don't even need to come out here to look for a fuse anymore you just turn it off and turn it back on again ah uh, and everything gets reset turn so, it off turn it off and turn it back on yeah that's it so you don't even need to call me anymore no it's good <laughs> Yeah, so we've got the drive-by-wire up and running, which is really, really good. Yeah? Um, it worked really, really well. Actually. Any um, really any well. dramas? No, no, because cause I tested this all out on the bench. I don't know if you yeah, remember yeah. a couple of years ago. I you remember you said, trouble. yeah, sending the little... Um... Yeah, yeah, so it was good. So I'll just put it back together again. Uh, I did replace all the wire. Now that I've seen it in the flesh, I replaced all the PVC wire with the Tefcel wire, only okay. because it's yeah. sitting literally on top of an exhaust manifold. And yeah, because it's got, like have... all exhaust and everything's yeah. on this side and nothing's on that when side. When I too. had this throttle on the bench, I couldn't quite picture what where and what it was all going oh, to be right, like. yeah. so once i got it here yeah maybe like, that's because you're not used to anything mm, this old nah, everything's out nah, the same side no nah, exactly yeah, yeah, yeah so like um, modern cross flow stuff yeah so i used all the tap cell wire and just twisted it all together and then just sort of made it neat and ran it all under the rail and it, man, it, Lovely. it all went together quite nice so i'm pretty happy with it really, so really that's pretty cool yeah so yeah so um, everything's working yep yep everything's working we've got the coils all wired up directly to the ecu as well i was worried about my um event because i made those leads so i wasn't i've never done it before and they all worked yeah yeah they all worked um we've even got a provision for a knock sensor as well so we can oh. um we can put an knock sensor on there's like a little hole here on the side of the block there wasn't many holes to work off to be honest on the um on the side of the block in the head mm -hmm. so like these are originally um, were a Morris or an Austin engine okay. way back when okay. and then um, I think they started as, a, as an 850 and then 
Nissan got hold of it, but Prince actually got hold of it, and this is where they've got all the mains in them now, and why you can rev them to stupid revs, and yeah, okay. you know, they're they're quite a tough little engine. If you've ever seen uh, TS Cup, it's worth watching. Okay. Um, there's like 40 of these things all screaming at about 10 grand. And they have to use standard bottom ends and standard heads and standard key boxes. They can do it. Yeah. And they, you just beat them to death, basically. Very They're pretty good. unkillable. Yeah, that's really, really good. Uh, had no idea what injectors they were. So. I don't know. They were whatever was on the... the yeah, it's from a, an R6, so... R6. Oh, okay. So the actual bike yeah. injectors that came with it. They were all seized. Oh, were they? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they did not move. So I hit them all with a hammer. Ah. Uh, a big hammer? Yeah, no, 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 an EFI size hammer. Yeah, so just cute little, 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 cute little hammer. So I just gave them all a whack, 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 whack. And whack, away and they, they went. started coming back to life and just whacked them a little bit more. And they, yeah, they freed up and they unseized themselves. Really okay. Really so the big question is, hmm. does it have the dwarfs? It, I don't know, you tell me. It's a start, folks. Oh, it's on a nothing program. Oh, it's dirty. Oh, it's dirty. Run for oh, no, no, I'll be 18 months at least. 18 months, two years. Yeah, I was gonna say at least two years. Yeah, I think a couple yeah, of years. Here, here, just comes wow, yeah, that sounds really good. That's probably the O2 trip you kicked in. I actually gave it the fuel you wanted, not that what I guessed. So okay, that's it. Just come Because this, this, um, sort of learned to a certain extent. Yeah. That's the other thing, it's got a white band. That's a problem. <laughs> it won't turn off at the moment. Not yet. Um, Just that's and things. <laughs> uh, the old air conditioning, what it had was when you turned it on, it had a little electric switch that turned on a vacuum line that pulled a diaphragm that cracked the throttle a little bit. Mm. So what we're going to do with this one is do it electronically. Yeah, we're going to do it electronically. So I'm actually, I've run some wires, so I've intercepted the air con compressor. Yeah. So as the car wants to turn it on, yeah. I'm going to steal that signal, put it into an input, we'll run it over to the ECU. The ECU will delay that for, I don't know, call it one second, one and a half, 1.2 seconds. We'll idle up with the throttle. Yep. Just ever so slightly. It's probably going to be. Crack, yeah, it won't need much. 0.3 of a percent will make that much of a difference with four. Well, now we've got four size. of them, yeah. Yeah. And then we'll let the, out, the aircon output turn on then it will load up the engine and bring it down again. So what we want to do is have that seamless off, off, down. And then you, like do, a modern you don't car. even notice. Yeah, you shouldn't even notice. Yeah, so, except like that it'll be a bit car. slow. Yeah, you Which couldn't say like the aircon. Well, this is you the couldn't thing. say it's like the aircon on the motorbike, because that's always on. Well, <laughs> this is true. Yeah. 
Yeah, so okay, so we have in the pool. How many kilowatts do you think it's going to make? How much did it make before? It made a massive 26.9 kilowatt at the wheels. I reckon it'll make 27.9. 27.9? Yeah. I was hoping for like 40. I think it will just get there faster. Well, that's that's what Scotty was saying too. He was saying that, you know, that area under the curb is going to have a lot. He, he said, look, double the torque most probably. So, um, of course, I heard double the power. It's, okay. <laughs> it's hard to say because you might be able to flow more air to the engine, mm. but will the engine accept it? Actually, yeah, well, that's, I suppose that's true. If we're not able to process that extra air, will it make that much more power? Well, this is all, all we'll that intake and everything. It. Well, we'll that's the fuel to match it, but yeah. will it accept all that extra fuel? Uh, air, yeah, sorry, all that extra all air. All the extra air. We'll just, we'll, well, that's what we'll find out. I suppose that like the H89 head, which is the hot rod head for your Datsun or files, um, with the big valves. I mean, this has all been designed with your big oval ports. Okay. It's this head has the round ones in, but all the inlet manifold and everything is all the oval port stuff. So okay. that'll with be the next the, the next step after this. You never know with the extra ignition accuracy mm -hmm. that this now has, which is say leap years <laughs> quite quite a bit better than yeah, the old weights more resolution <laughs> well so you got more resolution just with the, the that tooth profile that you've got in okay that distributor yeah 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 drop in and you've got four coils which is made by timmy highbloom by the way um, that uh dizzy well done <laughs> it zero effort zero effort it just worked straight away it was actually Perfect. really really good to see a drop in part work that but on your tim you're a good man um, nailed it nailed it it worked <laughs> really really well um with the extra ignition accuracy i think you'll get that extra torque that we were talking about mm -hmm. hopefully yes it can pull a bit more air through the engine well that's you know the steps from here is as i said from from here we'll get this all sort of tarted up um drive around for a bit because I haven't been driving it for a while and I want mm. to drive it mm. um, and then we might put the H89 head on it and um, that will give it a bit because they've got bigger valves and they've got the bigger ports mm. and they you know they're the duck's guts yeah and then drive that around for a little while and then after that we'll put the 1500 in the there dog yeah yes. but I'm, I'm tossing up about that silly cam yeah might even end up putting the A12 cam in it. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Because I want to drive it. Like, if it's got a stupid cam in it. Mm. Uh, mm. But yeah, like I said, we've got heaps of extra inputs. You can do all sorts of stuff. It, heaps of extra outputs. So we can do whatever you want on it. If you want to go to full show car, we can put some LED <laughs> lights underneath it. Uh, <laughs> Underglow! Yes! Maybe a diagnostic light. <laughs> we could give you a diagnostic light instead so you can... A bit like this, you can see what's going on. That's not a bad idea. You can do all that stuff. Um, well, like I don't, you know, it's got a Haltech on it. It's an A12. It's the beauty. Yeah, of it's never going to break the, down, is it? Yeah. Well, no one ever said that. Touch wood. No one ever said that. <laughs> um, what I was most excited about was putting cruise control on this for you. So yes. I've yeah. Actually wired up the brake switch. I wired up. Clutch switch. Excellent. And you've got your electronic throw. So it knows now enough to be able to do cruise control. So it is now a proper so, so so all we've got to do now basically is get a speed sensor of some sort in there, which um I think it's from a pulsar. There's a pulsar that has an electronic one and then I want to do So you can drop that straight onto that gearbox? It will go straight onto the gearbox. Cable off. Cable off. Yeah. Oh to the no, we need the cable. No, 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 no. Cable off. The idea is we'll go with one of those. Um, the American hot riders use them. Is a uh, like a. It's a little drive box yeah, with a short cable but to to run. Yeah, yeah runs so you, the speeder. So you can output the speeder and you can output to a Hall effect sensor. Yeah, well, it's, we'll just go straight off that off That's that cool. sensor. That's cool. Into the R3. The R3 will actually tell that motor like oh, how uh, what the speed and the, you, it's you. adjustable. You know, so we can. I get you. I get you. So you can change mm. wheels to whatever you want. You exactly, have, you and just have, go dial it up you and can down. Have Twenty files <laughs> and some of these. Bite your yes. tongue. Yes. <laughs> How good. Mm. Spinners. No. Spinners. No. 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 Spinners. They're coming. <laughs> I can't wait. This is gonna be great. 
Um, Such a fun little thing. Yeah, really so is. we can calibrate the speedo to be whatever we want on the yeah. dash, so it's actually perfect. So we can do it against the phone GPS or something like that and make it spot on. Make it absolutely perfect. Well, let's just dial that up and down. Well, and that's it, you know. That's error you want as well. So you can bring it two kilometers under or five kilometers under the speed limit. So you know you're always. Yeah, got that little bit up your sleeve. Yeah, spot on. Yeah. Oh, that's because, cool. you know. It is a racing ute, as we know. Mm, mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. so, oh, I can't believe how well how nice. good it sounds. <laughs> yeah, it, it sounds smooth. It's it's really happy. It sounds really really smooth. I um, I was very very impressed. Man, I'm so happy You've with done it. Done very very well. I like it. So. Oh, well, um, it's the first time I've ever done anything like this. So mm. this is all new to me. So I, um, I'm pretty happy. I actually caught myself out a few times because I was like, what? did we decide with that? So I actually went back and watched some of your old videos and I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, okay, I've wired up a pedal, but there isn't a pedal. <laughs> so yeah, well, that's, oh, it. That, that's, yeah. that's why it's I picked this one. That, all in one. Yeah, because yeah. it's got, it's all there, you know, we can, we can, we don't have to have some silly plastic yeah. pedal in the, you know, we can keep the interior yeah. with that old school look and that's, that's always sort of the plan. I mean, this is a bit, oh, no, I don't know, we I could like put a, a big blue air filter over the top of it. You can just go full modern. <laughs> just put a great big engine cover over everything. You don't see anything. <laughs> yeah, just big plastic. <laughs> just overhauling. Thing. Disappears. Yeah. I happen to have a plastic factory. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, so we've got. I, I know you said you wanted the, to get a stalk from something for your. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think we can do that. Okay. It's, just yeah, where it's, it's gonna, gonna be. Go. Yeah. Yeah. So I put a keypad. I wired up a keypad. The little Haltech keypad. Oh, the a button keypad. So we can do cruise control of that. So we can pull it on off. We can do accelerate and set. We can do resume and cancel all on that. Obviously, your brake will cancel just like normal. Yeah. And clutch will. Also and you cancel, hit the clutch and that'll like cancel normal. it out too. Yeah. But you've got the option really cool. in three different spots to turn it off in a hurry if it becomes that big of a drama for yeah. reason. So got that and then yeah we can do whatever other buttons you want in there. I thought what might be nice is a throttle aggression because driving this with those throttles yes. working well, like they yeah. are designed to yes. might not be <laughs> the smooth nice. the smoothest of yeah. well see see that's that's one of the beauties of the Howtech is we can yeah do that ramp rate you know That's it, it doesn't so have to be you linear you what would be nice i think would be four different levels of aggression okay um so yeah track have, level yeah spot on yeah so basically give me all the aggression the give me what i want to drive on a friday night and give me what i want to drive on sunday yeah <laughs> sunday so oh, don't shock the old ladies up and down macquarie yeah, pass yeah yeah, yeah Macquarie, pa yeah. Macquarie Pass mode. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. We can have that. Um, and with <laughs> that same button, we can dial in the aggression, the aggression for ignition timing as well. So you okay. can have you can have different modes of drives differently and sounds differently. <laughs> okay, it sounds so good. We've gone too I've far. never heard. We've I've, gone too far. Haven't we? <laughs> I've <laughs> I've never heard it with extractors on it. Yeah. Just because that, that, that exhaust, they're a good sounding engine. The, yeah. a, the a series is a really good sounding engine. Yeah, um, no but with the, with the no, with the with the dorts that it's got now and the extractors, I mean, it sounded good before. Yeah. But the couple of little revs you gave it down the back there, yeah. it, it's this it's got a little crackly be, stuff happening. Yeah, oh, this will yeah. be good on the dyno. It's so will sound really good. We'll have to put mic down there. So mm. that'd be really good. Really, really exciting. So, what's the plans from here? What do we? What, what do I have to do apart from just twiddle my fingers? That's what I've been doing. I don't think you have to do a lot because you've done a lot of hard work already. I'm going to put a diode in between the lights. Oh, and Shannon, help! Big help here with the hard work. Nice yes, one. nice one. I'm going to put a diode in the light to the alternator because yep. for whatever reason, now it stays energized. I think the old coil used to draw enough power that it used to. Kill, it. kill the system, but ah, now there's no yeah, load hadn't thought on of anything. That. There's absolutely no load on anything to oh, this right. alternator what it draws because it's all through the battery and the ignition switch. So there's no relays, there's nothing to draw power down. So I'm going to put a diode on there, which is just a okay. One -way, so what one -way it probably one. didn't need the big alternator on. I know it'll probably help. It'll probably help. Yeah, yeah no, don't get me wrong. It'll, it'll help power fuel pumps coils and all this sort of stuff there's no drums there fans if we're going to run another fan if we end up replacing this fan yeah we can put an electric fan on here we've got a spare output for that so i've wired up heaps of spares for ins 
Yeah. Now, can we do all sorts of stuff? Um, we can do heaps of different stuff. Yeah. Okay. Really, really good. So we can run all that stuff. Yeah. But I mean, a, a nice little electric fan there, as you said. Take the drawer off the anything take it that, off the that if we can, if we can take yep. whatever is load taking power yep. <laughs> away yep. from so poor little A12. More aircon, less fan. Yes. Um, and then that's always convert a good thing. that mechanical loss and change it into an electrical loss. Hmm. Will it? change drivability maybe um it's one of those things that people, basically you just people debate about on the internet forever like if you take this off the engine and convert it into electrical is it yeah well it's gonna because the alternator yeah, is going to be driving you put, so you put more in here but does it actually put more in here this is not a, that's not a today video no we'll leave it to oh, the we'll, 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 yeah. the we'll leave it to the comments we'll leave it to the internet mm. and discuss whether <laughs> but what you can't do is turn this fan off no well that's because true. it is bolted to the engine so the high it hasn't even got a clutch on that it, fan just, just keeps spinning yeah. so if we take it away Permanent. we can control it ourselves easy so it looks at the coolant temp sensor and mm. then it goes up through a threshold turns on and then once it drops down below that back temperature off again. that we set yeah we can turn it back off again but also you can have an override on that little keypad as well so you can so turn you can that just... fan on whenever you want that's cool. This has given me a lot more work into the future. Mm. Yeah. yeah <laughs> there's, there's so it many things that we can so do. Well, that's so it. It's so many front, possibilities. We, front and rear wheel speeds in case traction becomes a problem in your life with this. Uh, you never know. You never know. That cam could do anything. That cam could do anything. You don't know. You don't know. Um, 36, you reckon an extra kilowatt? <laughs> extra yeah. An it's extra how you use it. it's, it's not. It's, it's not, not how big it is. It's it. how you use it. <laughs> so I think it'd be good. I think it'd be really, really good. Um, it sounds. It sounds brilliant. Mm. And it sounds happy. That's the thing about it. it you know, really it's it just once once it kicked in and it and it mm. started idling, just a happy little motor. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> I think you you won't know yourself when it's um, once it's got tuned. It'll be very really, very really good. You can squeeze Scotty in there. Is a Datsun bike? I do have a cappuccino. Maybe we should try and squeeze him into that. It's a different model. So <laughs> just, uh, just the magic disappears. <laughs> Datsuns, yes. Datsuns, yes. Although he used to sit in the back seat of his. There is no back seat. There is no back seat. Uh, well, I haven't they, even tried to sit in that to be honest. For, well, I, I for uh, South Africa, you know, South African people are generally fairly tall. Yeah, so they yeah. made these till about 2008. Yeah. But what they did was they added, you would think that they would lengthen the cabin. Yeah. No. They actually added an inch to the roof height. Really? Made them taller. Made them taller. So like your knees are still up around the steering wheel, but you've got more room for your head. And your helmet. <laughs> if you race it. Huh? Oh yeah. yeah. And then the, they had a different grill and they had square headlights. This yeah, is the later ones. Yeah, they yeah, made the these stuff, from yeah. 71 to 2008. These, they? They're probably still No, no, they stopped in 2008. They stopped. Yeah. <laughs> With an A series in they had A14, A15. They're probably still making them in Iran. They're, they like to yeah, keep, the, keep, the, keep the dream alive. But they made, made these for a long time. Yeah, awesome. Such a cool little car. Mm. Um, no, that's all that. I think I'll take it for a test drive. Just make sure everything's sweet. Uh, the only thing I think you'll need to do is probably just oils, fluids, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we'll make sure we can get it running on the dyno, everything's good. So if you need to pull anything apart, we don't have to gas it again. I will do it that way. That works really well. Well, it should be easy enough. We'll get over to the dyno. We'll okay. just check, check fluids and all that sort of stuff. And just I think sure it's okay. Yeah, but the, the, that, that having, having to ramp, you know, the different ramp rates for the throttles, I think that's just, yeah. that's why I went for this in mm. the first place. Mm. Mm. That would be really, really good. Um, keep an so eye cool. on the air temps and everything in this engine bay and just make sure it's got enough airflow. Yeah, well, that's it. Um, no, I think it should be good. They used I'm to really put, excited. if they didn't have um, the air conditioning, this is where, the, that's the hole that they used to put the uh, oil coolers in for the racing cars. Well, that's what they do. Yeah, right. But it does have holes down yeah, in yeah. under here, so. Yeah, plenty. It's got holes everywhere. Yeah, no, plenty. well, there's, there is a bit of room there. Cooling is actually better with the chin spoiler on because it okay. just scoops it all up. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, it would like rain. Underneath, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. But for tow trucks and whatnot, I tend yeah, to take it yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a good idea. Um, yeah. Oh, cool. Well, oh, I can't I'll wait to drive to the damn thing. 
I was just about to do your brake switch because I just haven't got down in there yet. Stuck your head in there. Switch, and then put two spade terminals for a clutch switch. And then you just. I'll just make, make up a little bracket. A little to, little bracket. Yeah. Yep. And, then and away we'll, we go. We'll configure it and we're ready to go. Yeah. Fabulous. Then we'll just need that speed sensor. That's it. That's a speed sensor. That's the only thing you need to figure out. All right. Oh, because I've got it written down somewhere in my notes what one it is. Yeah. But that's, we've got the speed sensor, then the, the um, well, I, I mean, I've still got my uh, sat nav one. It's like a speedo that just, yeah, GPS it. That's, so we can put that in? We could actually put, put it put all in. It's in just, yeah. What we don't really allow you is to do cruise control over GPS speed. No, no, no. no. We do. Well, want, no, yeah. We do. Well, that's, that, I've got to find that. As I said, it's been so long, I thought, we'll just yeah. get it going first and then tack it all that stuff afterwards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's no good once you go into the Sydney tunnel and the speed goes to zero <laughs> and the cruising dog just goes... <laughs> yeah, yes, no, no, no. Well, well, it, I've got just a little GPS that, that you plug into the and it reflects off the Great. window yeah. and that, gives, that okay. can give me a speed for just if driving around output, until I find that. that. Yeah. We can use it. If it's got an output, it we can use it. I'll have a look. It's all right. It's just some little $30 Chinese thing. Great. Yeah, cool. Uh, we've got our little GPS units as well, which are also pretty cheap, so you can just bang that in there. Oh, yeah, it'll do the job. And then it's, yeah, it's so it, just something that tells me the speed until That's we it. get that. That's it. All right. I'll figure all that in. We'll just get it going to start off with. Yeah. It's got a cable now, so it'll work. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do speed sentry stuff later on. Nice. Can't do it all in one hit. I run out of episodes. That's it. Um, <laughs> It'll be able to tune this over Wi-Fi as well, because it's got a Wi-Fi aerial on it. <laughs> well, could it? Yeah, so you tune it while you just do that. It's just, just too modern, it's blowing my mind. It's good. So, yeah, he doesn't even have to drive it, that's the other thing. You can drive it and he can just tune it from outside the car, so oh, that might be an idea too, if he doesn't fit. Well, yeah, that's true. Nice. But if he fits in there, he seemed to be quite happy, because he hopped in and he said, this is quite comfortable. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, but he's, it's not like he's driving it to prison. No, well, this is true. Yeah. This is true. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm glad you're right. excited, man. The, oh, I'm very excited. This is just, like I it said, sounds so like, good. Like, why? Like the look on your face when it started, that's why I do it. That's yeah. why I love it. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's so good to see that, that person's reaction. Just like, wow. Because it's like, it's only like with you just talking here and telling me like, oh, we can do this with that. And this is, it's got so much scope. Oh, yeah. And like stuff I haven't even thought of. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's cool. Like, like the undercar neons. Yeah, so I know you didn't think of it, but <laughs> no. you can do Funnily it. Funnily enough, so I didn't good. think of that. So no. Really, really mm. yeah. <laughs> You're a bad influence. Um, You're a bad man. It's cool. We've got spare outputs on there, <laughs> yeah. so you could do something like It'd a It'd be drink. hard and easy enough under the tray there. Yeah, you could do a drink cooler, so you can fill, well, fill a different flask, not this flask, but you could do a different flask and then have a push button for that, and you can just straw in. Well, there's another the thing. Car. I do have floating around... Um, that is an airbag system. Oh yeah. For yeah, the beauty of that is, so well, you know, because I Number like to. Is going I, I like to run my cars fairly low. Yes. Which you know, and this is a load carrier. Yep. Problem with that is you put yeah, it needs pumping back out. So it's just got like mm. um, trailer shocks, you know, air shocks yeah. on it at the moment. Yeah. yeah. But well, there's plenty of room just in behind here. On. Yeah, to turn the compressor on. Yeah, up. put put the compressor in there. We have where the spare wheel was under here yeah. for the tank. Easy. Mad. That'd yes. That'd be really good. And just like, oh, we got some shit in the back. What's the, uh, what's the payload on the other one? A little bit. Uh, half a ton. Yeah, half a ton? That's me and five kilograms. <laughs> that's good. 500 kilograms. Oh, wow. Okay. Right there. Yeah, what did I ask you? Yeah. Sports. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's a couple of kebabs. That's pretty decent. Yep. Pretty well, it fits, fits my mini bikes in there too, which yeah, is nice. quite good. Yeah. Excellent. Very, very good. Lots of character. Love it. <laughs> Love it. It does too. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. It's really, really good. Well done. Thank you very much, sir. You're very welcome. Thank you very, very much for all this. This is just. I've got I've got about an hour's drive to get home, and I have so much to think about. What I can do now. Yeah, that's oh. that's <laughs> so much, so much, so much. Where would we put a. I was thinking maybe just under the dash or the keypad, but what about. Oh, that's my shot. Oh, that, I've 
I've been eyeing off that spot the entire week. What, the one in the, just in front of the gear stick there? Yeah, I've been eyeing it off. Ah, aircon's on. Well, the fan is. Oh, yeah, right. There um, you go. I've been eyeing it off the entire time, so I reckon if you get miles Actually, to make be. something that slots in there, that plug will go straight into the back. So it might have to make a small little hole. I know, coming up, that's an interior is like. There's, there's, there's but, a bit of room there. But, but this, the, yeah, like these are hard to get, but I think for this, yeah, nah, I think you it's You don't a go. even need to mount it. You could get a little 3D printed thing that just slotted in there that, that we could mount. You said Miles can do that, can't he? Just like yeah, Miles in, never do that. click and it in, where we go. Make a little wedge thing and then just put it in there. So we don't, it won't fall out and it won't move around. So cruise control, yes. throttle, and then we can have yeah a couple of like like your couple fan of things or whatever. Yeah, we can have your fan override. We can have whatever you oh, want. Interior light still working? Yes. Oh yeah. You see this one? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is out of a a Japanese spec 810 Nissan. 810. 810. Yeah, so like 200B. Yeah. Yeah. I just had Crack to like it. slice the end of it to get yeah. it to fit. Yeah. And there you go. Roof console. Yeah, good. Goes with the 50 shades of um, brown that we have in here. <laughs> I was going to say, how did you get the colour scope there? Is it just well, just you know, it thing? just suits every yeah. no, you've done, 50 other shades really, of brown that we've got. Really well. I really like it. <laughs> I really like it. Try and keep it sort of as original looking as possible, but hide hide as much really of the well. tech as possible. Yeah, I think you've done really, really well. I love it. Did you, have you seen this? Blu-ray? It, no, it's a um, <laughs> Blu-ray. <laughs> Mini disc. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, in behind there, it's all um, Bluetooth. Oh, the yeah. Light, the, the, so, oh, so, this is all, and I it's all exactly the original button. So, yes. that's the mic. Yeah. So, I machined that little bezel up for it. So, it um, I didn't pick it. <laughs> no, nah, I didn't pick it. You've done really, really yeah. well. I didn't pick it. I've done one of these in uh, one of my fake uncle. I did uh, in his Mark I Mustang. I did one of these. But oh, I yeah. Could, I couldn't pick it. It looks factory. Yeah, that's it. It's not until you turn it on and then all the and lights come blue. up and yeah. yeah. But well done. I couldn't pick it. <laughs> oh yeah. No, nah, I couldn't pick it. I know what I'm looking for when I see that oh. stuff. I couldn't pick it. Yeah, you found that one. Oh, the taco. Yes, Tacho. Yep, found Touch. So a uh, real good connection with that one. <clears throat> Twist and date. Ah, uh, but it works. <laughs> it works. So I'll put the right connector oh, on it. It feels a bit warm too. <laughs> I'll put the right connector on it. That's going to go to your clutch. No, no, uh, we're very switch. much at the. This That's is going to just... go to your clutch switch. Um, this is so wild. I'm actually done. This is so cool. Oh, this is so cool. And once oh. you have once you have a clutch switch, you can have launch control. Turn off the clutch, the clutch switch, so we can turn the launch control activation on and off, <laughs> the and then do it against the launch. It'll be sick. Stop it! Stop it! It's freaking me out. <laughs> Launch control. Yeah, why not? Yeah, we can like jack it up with the air shocks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, give it a bit of rake, and then and then we can bleed the shocks out as it goes down the. Oh, can we really? I nearly said the track. Stop. I mean road. Road. Outside road. The pub. road. Road. Yes. Outside the pub. Out. Yeah, should be good. <laughs> After we've been through the bot layer, you know, and yeah, filled up the tray, <laughs> and then to perform the ultimate sacrilege, we can put the tent tent dash in here. Too far. Okay, I, that's, all right, I've gone too far. This, this, right. this is a, a, a nah, dash out of a really GX5. Like, I really so, like it. Yes. I really, really like it. It looks nice. It looks really nice. I have the original one still, but this is the GX5 dash. It's and uh, it's called the double it's bump, great. and they're hard to get. It's great. It's in real good condition. Yeah. Well, if there's a little mark on it somewhere around there, but basically, I just cleaned it all up. The um, I had to replace all the the metal behind it because yeah, that was all rusty as hell yeah. and then all the in behind the gauges and everything they're sort of a mix and match some of the stuff was too far gone uh you've got some time yeah <laughs> you've got some time yes I like and wood wood grain look yeah. at that but yeah. like, i like you know mm. people get saying like just touches. spray paint it and do it make it all no yeah. i don't i don't on. yeah i like it it's a bit worn you know there's there's a bit um, it's not perfect, and I like that. What is this? Oh, they're rain guards, so you can smoke while you're driving. The Jap very, it's a very Japanese. And this thing. is factory. Yes. See, it's got the Nissan stickers on. 
built up. So when you're when you're driving, like, you can have so the good. you know, so you can and you have they the window open because you because you're smoking away. You don't have your flick. You flick it. Yeah, out. And you, you flick it out the window. See. Oh, well, that's that, that, yeah. That would be Japan like style. Like. <laughs> you got yeah. the gutter grip with you. Yeah, but that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they're like a rain gun. Yeah, so real cool. <laughs> they're real cool. I've never yeah, seen Yeah, but ge genuine like factory that. ones too, with the yeah, with the Nissan yeah, stickers on it. I've never seen anything like it. And these these come with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unreal. They're new ones. Yeah, really cool. I've put them in. Really, yeah. really cool. I like them. As you said, I've put about thirty kilos worth of sound deadening mm. in it. Mm. It really needs it here. Yeah, got it because it booms. But I'd have to hide yeah, it's it. It's a big job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so it'll, it'll need something over the top. So I made yeah, a bit more brown. Put some more brown in it. <laughs> some nice brown vinyl. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it'll be cool. A bit of wood grain, a bit more actual wood. Actually, some... that's not a bad idea. That can be right. uh, and you yeah. can put a cup holder in it. Yeah, it doesn't have a cup holder. Some of this. That's oh, then your drinks. Ah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorting your life. This is great. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. See the um, the gear stick knob is a is a copy of the original 1972 1971 1970 GTR. Yeah, yeah. five-speed like the original yeah. wooden one. Yeah. That's it because they had the red on the top. See. Uh, what sort of GTR is that? The original one. Like this one? Yes, like that's Alan, the one. Alan's one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the Alan good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's very cool. That we did the wheels for the one too. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Full circle. Yeah, but that's that's the uh, that's the gear stick knob. I like it. <laughs> this is cool. I really like it. Got a couple of mates that came past and I'm just like, what the? Hell? It's great. <laughs> it does. Um, the people seem mm. to love it. It's, it's been an honour. Really <laughs> it's been like an honour. It. It's been an honour for you. No. Yeah. To yeah. do my car for me. Like, I love it. I love this it. is just so so it. good. Yep. Can see what, how it performs. Look at the passion of this guy. <laughs> Do you see why he does this? This is why he does it. Is he, he just loves this sort of stuff. <laughs> He's just going, oh yeah, it's got 500 kilowatts. No, we only need wires. Yeah. 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 Much, much smaller. It's good. Yes. All right. Cool. Time for me to go home. Thank you very much, sir. Easy. Champion. Yeah, we'll sleep. <laughs> see you. See you. traffic is typically crappy it's gonna take me an hour to drive out to Dave's place <laughs> but it's it's the hour of the day that I'm actually going this is such a good car I, I rave about this silly little box but it, it really thank you Martin I really like it and Moog this thing's great I chopped you on that one guys I really got a good car it's even while it's sitting here because it's got stop start as well it tells you how long you've been sitting there and typically for a tank um, of fuel it will be around about an hour that I've been sitting here doing nothing the car's not idling it's just shut off so uh, where mind you it's been, it's been worse than, than usual just lately because we're half a tank in and 44 minutes just going on 45 minutes we've been sitting here in traffic not idling just just sitting here doing nothing and that's where are we uh, saved us 338 milliliters of fuel so about a coke can of fuel we haven't used just sitting there idling and doing nothing huh, it's amazing isn't it and then you know i put the back down and i'll throw wheels in the back of it and, and drive around the place and then tomorrow we're going for a drive down to the coast with my daughter and my factory manager who happen to be very good friends very good they've been together for some years and own a home together so very good friends and um we're going to a to an air show so this should be should be fun i've just gone beep decided that the air conditioning needs cranking up again that's the only problem with it the air conditioning shuts down as well when the motor shuts off but Unless it's a stinking hot day, it's fine. So the motor's just started back up again. And my light's green and some idiot has stopped halfway across the lane. So, I don't know. Don't queue across intersections, you morons. <laughs> <laughs>